Welcome to more getaways with Noel. In today's video, we will explore 19th century folly regarded as the Stonehenge of North Yorkshire and set in a beautiful Swinton estate. This is Druid's Temple. Druid's Temple is one of the attractions in the Swinton Estate, located near Masham and Ripon. There is a car park available and an honesty box is provided with the suggested parking donation, so please make sure you have cash. The temple can be accessed on foot from the parking area, which will take you about 10 minutes walk, and there are signs indicating as to where to go. Since the estate is still within the Yorkshire Dales, please remember the usual countryside code rules such as to take your litter home with you, close any gates behind you, and keep your dogs under control or on leash when required. For more information about countryside guidelines, please click the link in the description below. Please note that the only public right-of-way in the plantation is the direct route to the temple. The estate is a private property and all other paths are accessible on a permissive basis. Therefore, please make sure that you are aware of the condition of use, which are written on the map board at the entrance, as well as any additional signs you may see while walking. The estate is easy to explore as there are signs and maps provided. Just a simple reminder that since the area is located in a plantation, some parts can be muddy, so please make sure to wear appropriate gear. As you get closer to the temple, you will notice some rock formations as part of the main folly. This is Druid's Temple. It is a man-made folly built over 200 years ago by William Danby, the owner of the estate and nearby Swinton Park. Not a lot of information is known about the temple. Although it is understood that William Danby constructed the structure in order to help with local unemployment and paid workers one shilling a day and that is about three pounds in today's money. To complete the illusion of an ancient structure, William Dumby attempted to employ someone to live on the site, particularly in the tomb at the rear of the temple as a hermit for seven years. They were expected to let their hair and beard grow and not to speak to anyone. However, it is a little wonder no one lasted the full seven years. The temple contains a sacrificial altar, tomb, a group of men here in the center, and dolmens around the edge. The overall length is approximately 100 feet with some stones about 10 feet high. The temple was said to be a replica of the Stonehenge with monoliths and trilithons to form two circles in a visica fissure, with the first circle centered on a monolith depicting a phallic symbol. However, since this is only a man-made folly, it was never been a place for religious activities nor similar practices of the Celtic cultures. Nonetheless, Druid's Temple is a good place for contemplation and meditation or if you want to spend a quiet moment with the nature. As the temple is made of pile of rocks, it is strictly prohibited to climb, stand, or remove any of the rocks. The temple is best viewed at the top of the small hill where the standing stones is. Many people come to this part of the area to take photographs, so please make sure to be courteous to other visitors. Thank you. 
As you walk nearby the temple, you will also see some more stone structures before continuing to walk until you reach the spectacular viewpoint looking out over Leighton Reservoir and Wensleydale. The reservoir surrounding moorland and plantations are all part of Swinton Estate. I recommend getting a free map from the honesty box at the car park, which shows some walking routes to extend your stay in the area and to explore more and appreciate the surrounding countryside. To help you keep on track while walking, there are some markers with colored arrows, which correspond to the color of the walking route you want to take. We choose to take the red route, which is also a biking trail, and this was the longest route. It is about two and a half miles and goes up and down Burgess Bank and offers expansive views of Wensleydale even on a slightly overcast day. Swinton Estates has over 20,000 acres to explore with an award-winning hotel, luxurious country club and spa, glamping facilities, and caters for outdoor activities such as fishing, bird watching, and a lot more. If you want to know more about the estate, please visit their website. It was really nice walking outside the plantation, as it reminded me of some of my previous walks in the Yorkshire Dales. The scenery was lovely despite the overcast weather, and it also pleasant to hear some birds chirping as we walk along the river. Since the area is easy to explore, it's popular among those who would like to have a short walk in the countryside. The uphill section of the Red Route joins a portion of the Ripon Rowell Walk, which is a 50-mile walk around the ancient city of Ripon. Usually walk in five sections, the route can take 3 to 5 days with a total walk time of between 20 to 25 hours. After reaching the Low Knoll Farm, we arrived back into Druid's Plantation and continued to walk through Pleasant Heather Lines Path. If you want to see more of the area and which routes you want to take, it is very helpful to get the free map from the Honesty Box. However, if you happen to forget to get one, don't worry, just follow all the route's arrows and it will lead you back to the main entrance. Following the map, we found more stone structures, such as these druid seats. As this is a man-made folly, there is not much historical information provided. However, it added an extra feature of the area and a good way to present a nature element in a static way even within a plantation. Swinton Estate is really a good place for a short countryside walk or to spend a break from the busy city life. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more getaways with Noelle.